Labor Senator Sam Dastyari has bowed to intense pressure and announced he's quitting politics over his opaque links with Chinese donors. It's a moment of reckoning not just for Senator Dastyari, but also for Australia's political system. Political editor Andrew Proben reports. Once Labor's shooting star, now a victim of political gravity. The best service I can render to the federal parliamentary Labor Party is to not return to the Senate in 2018. Crashing a short and colourful career. I will spare the party any further distraction. Distractions that have dogged him for more than a year. A personal bill paid by billionaire donor Wang Zhangmo and favours dispensed to the Chinese businessman by Sam Dastiari. Including a tip-off from the senator that his phone might be being bugged by ASIO. I remain a loyal patriotic Australia. But not one who abided by Labor's policy on the South China Sea dispute when keeping company with Mr Huang. He's made mistakes of judgment, but he's paid the heaviest of price. His career in federal politics is over. He's, he's resigned. The only reason that Sam Dastiari announced his resignation today is because he was causing political damage to the Labor Party on the eve of an important uh, by-election. Damage the government has encouraged at every turn in recent weeks. Some people have been rude enough to call him Szechuan Sam, which I think is the very, leader of the very House wrong. Withdraw. But in pursuit of Sam Dastiari, what harm has the coalition done to its chances in Benelong, which has a strong Chinese population? There you go. Good Thank you. None, according to the Liberal candidate. One person in the thousands that I've talked to over the last three weeks has mentioned it. I think the Chinese community in Benelong would be unimpressed by the constant rampant China phobia from Malcolm Turnbull. Whether he was simply naive or a dupe for something more sinister, Sam Dastiari's tale is a coming of age for the Australian political system, a system that's been almost willfully ignoring the risks of financial dealings with China. Those risks aren't new to intelligence agencies, but only fully appreciated by politicians this year. Thank you. Sam Dastiari's fall may be a personal tragedy, but it's also a significant moment in national maturity, a realisation that Australian sovereignty needs to be more robustly protected. So we say, Adalia Runman Zanshi Lai, the Australian people stand up. A relationship with China that's entering a new era. Andrew Proben, ABC News, Canberra.